well, page 165 in the big Go Math book. Uh, if you're not there now, pause the video, get out your math book, and open to page 165, and then uh, you can continue the video while you follow along. All right, a paint store makes rose pink paint by mixing three parts of red paint to eight parts of white paint. A clerk mix mixes four parts red paint to seven parts white paint. Did the clerk mix the paint correctly to make rose pink paint? Use tables of equivalent ratios to support your answer. Okay, so let's use the graphic organizer. What do I need to find? I need to find whether the, cl whether the ratio used by the clerk is blank to the ratio for rose uh, pink paint. I need to find if it's equivalent. Are those equal? Uh, what information do I need to use? I need to use the rose pink paint ratio and the ratio used by the clerk. So the rose pink ratio was 3 to 8. And the clerk used, so this is rose pink, RP for rose pink. And the clerk used 4, oops, sorry about that, 4 to 7. I will make tables of equivalent ratio. How, how am I going to use the information? I will make tables of equivalent ratios to compare the ratios. Uh, 3 to 8 and 4 to 7. 3 to 8 again was what the rose pink and then 4 to 7 is what the clerk used. Okay, So um, let's go ahead and figure out the different equivalent ratios of the actual ratio that I need, 3 to 8. So if I use 3 parts red, I have to have 8 parts white. So if I use another 3 parts red, that would be 6 total parts red. And for every 3 parts red, I need to add an additional 8 parts of um, white. So 8 plus 8 more, that's going to give us 16 here. So 3, 6, 9, 8, 16, 24, and then uh, 3, 6, 9, 12. Another three parts red, so I need another eight parts white. Okay, the clerk used 4 to 7. So if we went counted by 7s for the bottom, 7, 14, 21, 28, we would need to count by 4s along the top. So 4, 8, 12. 16. So look for a pattern to determine whether the ratios in the first table are equivalent to the ratios in the second table. Okay, this is going up by 3 each time. I notice that. This is going up by 8. These are going up by 4 each time. This is going up by 7 each time. Um, I also notice that 3 to 8, the difference between those numbers is 5, 10, uh, 15, 20, so the difference is going up by 5. Here the difference is uh, only 3, and then 6, so the difference, 3, 6, yeah, 9, 12, the difference is only going up by 3 on the, the clerk's paint. So those are some uh, patterns I noticed. The number 12 appears in the first row of both tables. Okay, so we have 12 here and 12 here for parts red. So if those are equivalent, uh, let's see, so we have 12 over 32 for the first one and 12 over 21 for the second one. Those are not equal. 12 32s and 12 21s are not equal. The ratios have the same numerator and different denominators. So just below this problem, it says, so the clerk did not mix. Answer the question, did the clerk mix the paint correctly? We would say no. The clerk did not mix the paint correctly.
All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.